Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing my quarter three check-in. Now, if you guys are new to my channel or if you haven't seen these before, basically what I do is like a quarterly check-in to see how I'm doing with my different goals and just how the breakdown of my reading is going. But one of the things that I've noticed is that a lot of people make sort of like New Year's resolutions or goals for their year, especially when it comes to reading. And most people, including myself, would never reach those goals. And so one thing that I try to do is like a quarterly check-in to see how things are breaking down and if I want or need to make any changes for the rest of the year. One thing that I want to highlight before we get started is that in 2013, I did a couple of videos talking about race and diversity and I basically just looked at my own reading habits and just saw how abysmal my diversity stats were. Even as someone who is a woman and is a person of color, my male to female ratio was always pretty okay. Like I would average around 50%. But in terms of my white versus non-white, that was like just absolutely abysmal. I'll have links down below to my own videos about this topic but so you can see the breakdown for yourselves and you can see what I was talking about. But I was basically averaging like less than 10% if I wasn't paying attention to what I was picking up. And I've decided that I want to become a more conscious consumer, especially Especially when it comes to reading. It's very easy to just like walk into a bookstore and just pick up whatever and we'll see if we like it. But the thing is is that there's a lot of biases in place in ourselves, in our bookstores, in the publishing world, in the general world around us that people of color just generally don't get as much exposure, don't get talked about as much. And one of the things I've just been trying to do for myself is just be more aware about what I'm reading, where my books are coming from, who these people are, what they're talking about, and just trying to be overall just more conscientious, I suppose you could say, or just be more thoughtful about the things that I'm reading. Like yes, reading is a form of entertainment, but you can get so much more out of it and I don't want to just be blindly picking up whatever I see in front of me. I want to make real thoughtful decisions. I'm also going to have a link to a couple other people's videos down below. The first one is going to be the Book Riot channel. Within the Book Riot community we've kind of just been talking about diversity a lot this year and things like that. And so there are a couple people who make booktube channels including the actual booktube official channel. And we all decided to just take a look at our shelves and just see how things are breaking down and to show that we all are biased. Like it's going to happen no matter what and until like we make the effort to create the change that we want to see to be the cliche, we're not going to see any change in this world. So, so the first thing I'm going to touch upon is the fact that I passed 50 books for the year. Every year since I was in like college I've been doing the 50 book challenge and now it's an official Goodreads thing and so I always just set my goal at 50. I don't really care about hitting 50 books but I just kind of use it as a marker to see how much I am or am not reading compared to previous years. And so earlier I think it was in September I want to say. I hit 50 books and I'm very excited about that fact or I'm very happy. I mean I really wasn't that happy. I was just like all right cool I hit 50 books. So that's just a challenge that I'm never really concerned about but I thought I would just mention it. Another thing that I've been doing is this thing called Mount TBR which is basically where you're trying to read books that you had already owned before the year started so that way you weren't just buy new books and just reading those books as a challenge to try to read some of your older books. And so I set myself up for 36 books for the year, which averages out to about three older books per month. And I way behind on that. Um, I don't think I've read any older books in the entire summer, but I have been picking up a lot of older books recently. So I'm starting to hit closer to my goal or where I should be but I'm still way behind. It seems very unlikely that I will hit 36 books this year, but that's not that big of a deal to me. It's again just motivation to pick up older books. Um, I will have a link down below to the blog post that talks about Mount TBR. There's also a Goodreads group and I'll put the link to that down below in case you guys are interested in that. It might be something you guys would consider doing maybe next year. Consider it as one of your goals or something like that. Now in terms of the breakdown of the authors that I'm reading, right now I have a breakdown of 62% female which is kind of high for me. Usually I really am around 50-50 but this year I seem to be picking up a lot of female authors which I'm not going to necessarily say is a bad thing. And then my white to non-white ratio is 34% to 66% which I'm very happy with. My goal for the year was to be above 25% and I thought that was going to be difficult but it really is one of those things where it's like once you start 
paying attention to it, it's really easy to integrate people of color into your reading habits. Just in case you guys are wondering, the way that I do it is I basically think like at least look at the last four books, have one of them been a person of color, and if not then I start making an effort to pick up people of color. But one thing I have been noticing, and I don't have the exact statistical breakdown, but I'm noticing at least just anecdotally um, that I pick up a lot of women of color and not a lot of men of color. So that's definitely something I want to be more conscious of in the last quarter of the year and increase my male author statistics as well as continue to increase my white to non-white ratio. You know my dream is to be able to get it to 50-50 white non-white and I think it is possible but it's one of those things where you have to work at it and I'm willing to work at it and I'm going to be trying that next year and I'm going to be like playing around with the different things. I haven't obviously set myself goals for next year yet, but it's something I'm thinking about and something I'm trying to figure out how it would work for next year. And then finally for my genre breakdown, so far this year I'm pretty happy with the way things are going so far. One thing I noticed at the end of the second quarter is that I didn't have a lot of classics and I didn't have a lot of historical fiction. I think it was at like one or two percent each, so I'm really glad that I was able to increase that number a little bit more and I'm hoping to get in a little bit more of that and a little bit more nonfiction into my reading. I'm not not a huge historical fiction person so I don't feel like that will ever hit like more than 10% but if I can up my nonfiction and my classics a little bit more at the end of this year that would be great. Also my graphic novel count is definitely going to be higher this year than it has been in years past and I know this just because I've been reading a lot on my Marvel Unlimited app. Having that app means I'm going to be reading a lot of comics and so that number is definitely going to be significantly higher as the year ends. So yeah those are all the statistics that I have for me this year. One thing that is a little bit of a disappointment is one of my New Year's resolutions was to read two presidential biographies this year and obviously the year's not over so I can still do this but I haven't read any and that makes me a little bit sad. So what I'm hoping to do is get at least one in before the year is out because otherwise I will be so sad at myself, sad at myself, mad at myself. I've been reading other nonfiction stuff but it's just I really want to get through and read a presidential biography for every president and I really need to get on that if I plan on getting through that in my lifetime. So yeah that's just like a personal goal I have for myself that I'm going to be pushing for during this year. I was thinking about doing it on audiobook and it might not be a bad idea but presidential biographies are like 30 hours long because they're so huge. I mean they're like a thousand pages in a book form so obviously it would be like 30 hours long but still that's a lot of hours to commit to a single audiobook. So yeah those are my statistics for this quarter or at least for this year up into the quarter. Feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know how your year has been going so far. Have you just completely abandoned your goals and you're like yeah I'm not gonna reach them there's no point. Are you still going for some of them? Have you reached any of your goals or anything like that? Feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know how your year is going so far. Also if you have any questions about any of my goals or challenges I went through it pretty quickly because I'm assuming that you've seen my videos in the past before so you know what my challenges and goals are. But if you have any questions about any of it feel free to leave it down in the comment section. So yeah, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.